Hey everyone, I'm Dreaming Tulpa and today I'm going to show you how you can create a video like this with stable diffusion by using video input masking. For this to work, you are going to need a Runway ML and Google account. So without further ado, let's dive in. First of all, what we need is some footage. You can use Pexels.com to find some decent video to play around with. For this to work we don't need an extremely high resolution and 720p is enough. Even 480p will work. Pexels also gives you the duration and frames per second of a video. Keep those numbers in mind as we are going to need them in a later step. So now that we have our source footage, let's head over to Runway. Here we open our dashboard and create a new green screen project. After that, we can upload our footage and then drag and drop it into the timeline. After our footage has been added, we can point and click on the object we want to isolate. Depending on the scene, it might use several pointers to get the shape right. If you find that at some point during the preview, the object is not fully masked, Add a new inclusion or exclusion pointer at that specific frame to adjust the mask. After we are satisfied with our shape, we can define how much feathering the mask should have. In this example I went with 50, but play around with this until you get the results you are looking for. Runway has a predefined export function for that with the starter subscription, but you can achieve the same result for free. For this to work, under Effects and Filters, add a fill color filter and then update its value to white. To update the green screen color, deselect the video by clicking anywhere on the canvas or pressing the escape key. And then change the scene background color to black and voila, we got our desired alpha mate. If you want to inverse the mask, simply click on Invert. Now click on Export to generate the video mask and download the result. Once we have our video mask file, we can switch to Google Drive to upload the original footage alongside the video mask. You might be using a local or another cloud runtime, so keep in mind that the next steps might be a bit different if you are not using Google Colab. You can upload the videos anywhere inside Google Drive. I prefer to keep the video input files in a separate folder though, called Video Input, where I add subfolders for each project. Once we have uploaded the videos, we can now head over to the Deform Stable Diffusion Notebook. As with all other things in this video, you will find the link in the description to that notebook below. Now to keep this video as short as possible, I'm not going over how Google Colab works or how the forum notebook works. So in this case we are just going over the video input masking settings. First, you want to change the animation mode to video input. Depending on the duration and FPS of your footage, we need to adjust the max frame setting to be as high or higher than our video. Otherwise the forum will stop generating after it hit the max frames number. Remember that Pexels gave us this information, so we can easily calculate this by multiplicating the duration with the FPS we want. The original video was 14 seconds long and had 50 frames per second, but we only want half of that. So to calculate the max frames number, we simply multiply 14 seconds by 25, which gives us 350. Next, we scroll down to video input and enter the paths to our original and mask footage. Because we only want 25 frames per second, we are only going to extract every second frame. So set extract nth frame to 2. And don't forget to activate the use mask video checkbox. For the prompts you can enter anything you want, but you will get better results if the prompts and the original footage are somewhat matching. Now for the final step, update the output size. You want this to be the same aspect ratio as your source footage, or somewhat similar. For the sampling I'm going with 100 steps and 13 scale. Important is that you change your seat behavior to fixed, otherwise your output will change drastically from frame to frame. And last but not least, we have to adjust our strength setting. The higher the number, the higher the output will resemble the original footage, the more coherence we will get. For this example I went with 0.45 initially. 
but changed it to 0.55 afterwards for better results. You can use the invert mask function if you find that your mask is reversed. Now we can click run all to start the Google Colab runtime and let it generate the video. And that's it. Now all you have to do is let the notebook do its thing and wait for it to finish until you have your final render. For further processing you might use ebsynth to create more coherency and use uh, something like Topaz Video Enhance AI to upscale the video. And that's about it. If you have any questions let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.